Hello, Omar. My name's Ben. Do you mind if I examine your neck? No. Can I ask you to take your top off, please? The patient should have the neck and upper thorax exposed and be seated. This is not how to examine the neck after an injury and take care if there is any other potential cause of instability, such as rheumatoid arthritis. Inspect from in front and behind and note the posture of the head and neck. Palpate the spinous processes from the occiput to T1. T1 is normally the most prominent. Tell me if it's sore at any stage. Next, feel for tenderness in the paraspinal soft tissues and then in the supraclavicular fossae for cervical ribs or enlarged cervical lymph nodes. Feel the structures in the anterior neck, including the thyroid gland. Check active movements. Could you place your chin on your chest? The normal limit is 80 degrees of flexion from the neutral when the chin touches the chest. And now look up at the ceiling. In extension, the normal limit is 50 degrees from neutral. Now can you place your right ear on your right shoulder? For lateral flexion, the normal limit is 45 degrees. And the left ear onto the left shoulder. In each direction, so the total arc is 90 degrees. And now can you turn your head to the right, looking over your right shoulder? This is lateral rotation. And do the same on the left-hand side. The normal range is 80 degrees in each direction. Thank you.